The following program may contain subject matter and language suitable for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. And welcome back to Season 6 of The Meltdown. My name is Norm. My name is Jeff. And today we are paying homage to the uh, early television of the 60s. As you can see, we're doing the show in black and white. Yes. And it uh, kind of makes me want to talk like this, Jeff. <laughs> like, uh, welcome to The Meltdown, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, it's 1962, and I forgot my cigarette because normally I smoke on the air. That's right, and space travel <laughs> is exciting. <laughs> Someday the Astro yeah. Men will be on the moon. <laughs> the Astro Men, that's <laughs> correct. That's the way to look at it. Uh, of course, that did happen. They just weren't called Astro Men. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about this, Jeff. No? Okay. I don't know. It's, it's Should too, we do uh, uh, what they did uh, during the mid-60s, especially 1965, and start presenting the show in color? The okay. Way, the way they did in 65, Ooh. which is a big year for... Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so we'll start again in three, two, one. And welcome to Season 6 of The Meltdown. My name is Norm. And my name is Jeff. And today we bring you the show in glorious color. <laughs> and uh, today we decided to kick off Season 6 talking about jobs. The best jobs, the worst jobs. What could they be? What, what is the worst job you've ever had, Jeff? Um, well, there's one job I had was... Um... It was this weird sort of thing where it was doing the, this clown work, but it was the sort of lipstick clown, as they call them. They're not real. real. Clowning is a, is, a, is a high form of art. Now, this is just yeah. sort of put on, a you know, makeup and wear a costume and bring balloons to a person. And Oh, so you were a balloon and grand delivery yeah, clown. I that, did that, too. That, was, yeah. I, that wasn't the weird part. I mean, that was okay, wasn't it? You know, it's, you know, <laughs> yeah, and again, it's, a, it's being a lipstick clown, but... But the uh, the owner of this company was this weird guy who was obsessed with money, and the whole business was just this front for this pyramid scheme. Ah, uh, <laughs> was actually running. I did that. I did that. But I did it for uh, a couple of years, actually. Yeah. yeah. Did you have a good boss though? Or a good they were two work? two women that owned the company, yeah. and and they were really really easygoing, and uh, you know uh, it was it was it was great until it became uh, annoying. Mm. But uh, the worst job I ever had was working for a uh, uh, a sewage. Uh, uh, rooting company. Uh, I say worse because <laughs> the conditions were, were absolutely disgusting. Mm. Um, I remember once we were cleaning out a grease trap in a chain restaurant that had been open for 12 years and didn't know they had this grease trap outside. Mm. So when they opened the, the doors, uh, the sludge was right to the top. Mm. It, it, it was disgusting. We're talking about 12 years of of saturated fat grease oil meat you name it was in this thing and it reeked mm -hmm. and the guys used to just dig in like they you know you have to start sometimes take the hose you put the hose in and then the truck sucks everything out but they, they'd get all of all of this 12 year old stuff on their hands they'd work for a few hours and then they'd say okay lunch break and then they'd go and eat a sandwich <laughs> They didn't wash their hands. Yeah. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And the number of people that were always sick every week was ridiculous. Yeah. But that wasn't the worst part. The worst part was cleaning uh, uh, sewers and, and pipes in people's homes. Yeah. And uh, you're, you're opening the pipe and you've got a bucket there ready to catch all the flying poops. Mm. Not fun. Yeah. So that's the worst job I've ever had. But, but today we're going to be focusing more on the, the best paying jobs. What are they? What are the top 10 best paying jobs? And what are the worst jobs? And let's begin the show as we always have with some meltdown fun facts in color. In color. All right. So as promised, we have the top 10 jobs in Canada. And we're going to, uh, we're going to, uh, start at number 10 and work our way to number one. Okay. Number 10 is a marketing and a public relations manager. Oh. As a marketing or a public relations manager, you'll be responsible for a brand or organization's public image. Job duties could include planning and directing 
uh, advertising campaigns, initiating and analyzing market research studies, and maintaining relationships with the media. The median salary for marketing and public relations managers is $83,000. That's not a bad start. That's pretty darn good. You know, if you were coming right out of uh, college, let's say we're taking media, you're taking public relations, and today with the internet, yeah. that is such an important job, right? Yeah. yeah, you can make good money in marketing media. Being oh, yeah. a mascot, actually, top of the line mascots. Uh, really make good money and, and, and top of the top of the line hmm. the philly fanatic the san diego chicken i mean those guys make like at least six figures if not seven yeah. i'm serious about that we should get a, uh, a mascot for the meltdown what what kind of mascot would we have the um, the meltdown something meltdown the meltdown tuna <laughs> the meltdown tuna that with the uh, clapping fins <laughs> Uh, the only thing is, uh, we wouldn't pay anything. Yeah, yeah, we couldn't pay the six figures of yeah. the Philly fanatic. Well, we couldn't pay one figure, uh, <laughs> but you would do it because you would do it because you love to cooperate and you love to be a part of a team. Uh, and so yes. I think if anyone out there wants to be the meltdown tuna. Does he get it? Tuna melt? Tuna meltdown melt. tuna? Oh, That's funny. It, yeah. uh, anybody wants to, uh, if you want to apply to be the meltdown tuna, uh, you have to provide your own costume, of course. And the most important thing is the flip, uh, yeah. clapping flippers. Yes, yeah, so you'll have to do that at the audition yeah. part. That's probably your whole audition see right my hands. There. there we go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that was really good. Eh? Well, Jeff, you know what? <laughs> you know? Anyway, all right, let's move oh, on. To where's, our where's Jeff this week? You never see Jeff and the Meltdown Tune at the same time. <laughs> all right, so our uh, our list of top 10 jobs, let's continue with number nine, all right. a veterinarian. Mm, yeah. Now, you probably wanted to be a veterinarian when you were six years old, and our ranking suggests that was a forward-thinking idea. Veterinarians provide medical care for animals of all sizes, from the family dog to the giraffes at the zoo. Veterinarians earn a median salary of $95,000. And I should point out, obviously, these are all full-time jobs, by the way. And we're, everything we're going to talk about is full-time. Part-time, completely different story. Uh, number eight, banking and credit manager. If you love money, and who doesn't, and being in charge, this may be the job for you. Banking and credit managers oversee the operation of financial institutions like banks and credit unions. Banking and credit managers can earn a median salary of $95,000 as well. So there you go. Bank, uh, banker, veterinarian, take your pick, same pay. Uh, but of course, your schooling has to be somewhat different. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, number seven on the list of top jobs, a business executive. Who doesn't want to be the big boss? This job category encompasses a variety of high-level positions at companies and organizations. Chief Executive, Financial and Operating Officers, Executive Vice Presidents, and Executive Directors. You'll need to make decisions about the organization's mission and how to allocate resources and represent it at official functions. The median salary for this job category is $107,000, but executives at major companies make much, much more. And you know, you've heard stories, right, of some of these top execs and, mm -hmm. and what they make. I mean, uh, boy... Uh, hydro, mm -hmm. there's one for you, mm -hmm. and uh, you know who's paying their salaries? Taxpayers. Yeah, all of us, you and me. <laughs> Every time our uh, heating bill goes up. Mm -hmm. All right, number six, uh, healthcare manager. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of the huge growth anticipated in the healthcare sectors as the population ages by becoming a healthcare manager. In this position, you'll oversee the delivery of healthcare services in hospitals, clinics, nursing homes, and other environments. Healthcare managers are responsible for supervising healthcare professionals, recruiting new hires, planning and evaluating service delivery, and setting budgets. Healthcare managers make a median salary of $96,000, but that varies greatly depending on the type of healthcare service they oversee. Okay. So, uh, even though this was supposed to be in order, I noticed that this one was lower than the last one, and we're kind of trying to go from low to high. So, um, but that was ranked actually uh, in its ranking. Okay, here's number five, halfway through, public administration director. Public administration directors oversee large branches of government services, ensuring that policies and programs are implemented. This means overseeing the development of said programs, monitoring and planning budgets, and hiring the training staff. The median salary is about $114,000, making it one of the highest paid jobs in government bureaucracy with a 16% increase in wages 
over the past five years. Well, how many of you uh, and anyone you know uh, has seen a salary increase at all in the last five or ten years? I've uh, received slight ones. And we actually you always got to one up, eh? <laughs> you got to be the one, Jeff. Oh, I've had a not, raise. Not, I no, have was... raises every day. <laughs> Because I'm so good. So no, good. I didn't. But not. What did you just say? Sixteen percent or something? Over well, they're years? saying over the past few years that yeah, the it's increased about sixteen percent. That's but that's quite a lot. That's, that is quite a lot. That's uh, amazing. If you're receiving yeah. that, that kind of pay increase at that rate, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Good luck to you. All right, here we go. Number four: a pharmacist. Being a pharmacist isn't as simple as just filling doctors' prescriptions. It also means meticulously updating medical records, advising customers on how to take their medicine, hiring staff, and managing inventory. Pharmacists in Canada can expect a median salary around $104,000. Over the past five years, wages for pharmacists have increased by about 10%. So that would top it at about one. 21 something okay here's a good job for both of us jeff all right pipe fitting supervisors <laughs> a pipe fitting supervisor coordinates the heat oil and water systems that run not just in your home but in large industrial or commercial facilities too they order materials schedule work activities and make sure everything's working safely the median salary for a pipe fitting supervisor sits at about eighty-three thousand. but first You'll have to receive lower pay as first an apprentice, then as a journeyman or journeywoman. According to Payscale, an entry-level pipe fitter can expect to make $28 an hour, while an experienced pipe fitter has a median hourly wage of $40.54. So imagine that, Jeff. So let's say you worked, uh, well, because you know these people work long, hard days. Let's mm -hmm. say you work 10 hours a day at 40 bucks an hour is $400 a day, right? Which is yeah. 2000 a week, the average month of four weeks, so you could make eight grand a month. Or close to a hundred thousand a year. That's not bad. Yeah, and if you're That's working ten good. hours, you're probably getting at least a bit of overtime as well. I would think so. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, our second last top ten job is an engineering manager. Engineers need someone to tell them what to do, and that someone could be you. Engineering managers plan, oversee, and evaluate projects. They work in both the private and public sector in a broad range of environments, including consulting firms and scientific research companies. Engineering managers earn a median salary of about $109,000. So, wow, eh? Yeah. All right. And the last top 10, the number one job uh, in Canada in 2018 is a utilities manager. Water, electrical, power, natural gas. If it's a utility, this category of managers are taking care of it. <clears throat> Whether it's in the public sector or the private sector, utility managers are in charge of the facilities, plants, and distribution systems that bring the power to the people. The median annual paycheck of a utility manager comes in at about $114,000 with broad variations based on what kind of utility and municipality you oversee. So there you go. Those are the uh, top 10 jobs in Canada. Uh, anyway, that's our uh, Meltdown Fun Facts for today. And now let's go to a Meltdown Minute with Lou in color. Hello, jobs, right? As long as there have been people, there have been jobs. I find that to be very discouraging, to be quite honest. What happened to the utopian society? Okay, I'm rambling a little bit. My point is I've had every lousy job in the world. I've uh, worked insurance. I've sold balloonograms. Yes, balloonograms. One of the weirdest jobs I ever had was working in a comic book store. And uh, it, you had to fend off every Saturday, like clockwork, was when the weirdos came out. And then they come out and they go, hey, have you got any uh, porn, but like drawn, but it's cat people? And I'd go, yes. Unfortunately, we have a lot of it, actually. So that's kind of weird. I also find it weird that there are all these songs about working, right? Summertime blues, get a job. That's pretty much to the point. Uh, uh, you know, but there's another one about that. Oh, working for the weekend. Remember that song? Working. I don't, how are you, you're working for more working. I don't understand how that's good. My favorite job, though, was uh, Odd Job huh? from uh, James Bond movies. And if you haven't seen the movie, he's a big fella. He's got a bowler hat. Bowler. With a razor on it. And then he would throw it, and it would cut people's heads off. That was his gig. That was his whole gig. 
He had to answer one question during the job interview, and it was, can you kill people with a bowler? And what's cool about that is they only call them odd job. That's way more than odd. You killed a guy with a hat. What the hell? So obviously, Lou Saracino is joining us for another season. Uh, I think I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the show, Jeff. Again, I'm going to blame the whole black and white thing uh, for that. <laughs> Uh, and now it's time for some Meltdown Stupid Stupidness in color. In color. All right. Making it extra stupid, stupid. All right. So here we go. We've got now the 10 worst jobs in Canada Ooh. and what they pay. So, um... Well, we'll see if you agree with this list as well. And okay. Again, it's not about the money, uh, you know, when you go to look for a job, but these lists are about the money. All right. Number 10. A pulp mill operator that earns about $56,000 a year. Oddly, according to Canadian Business, the worst job to have in Canada this year is also the highest paying of the bad jobs. However, working in a pulp and paper mill is not a good career path to be on. The paper industry has been hit by the global economic downturn, a pine beetle infestation, increased costs, and an increasingly paperless world. Get out now. <laughs> That's how... Uh, that's how they wrote that. Hmm. Number nine, a foundry worker. Do you know what a foundry worker is? Uh, yeah, basically there used to be the beach foundry here in Ottawa on Scott Street. Right. So foundry worker earns roughly $43,700. Canadian business calls this one of the best of the worst jobs because of the relatively high pay, but manufacturing jobs worldwide are on the decline because of the recession. Number eight, laborer in a wood pulp and paper processing plant. $39,500. Not only does this job have declining opportunities and low pay, but it's also physically demanding and quite dangerous. The job ranking site CareerCast.com actually rated Lumberjack as the worst job in the world last year. However, Canadian business has found worse jobs to have in Canada. Number seven, a rubber processing machine operator at $38,500. Similar to the workers in plastic, demand for rubber products has gone down, resulting in a surplus of workers and few opportunities. And you know what? In a lot of industries, that's that's the case. Mm -hmm. Number six, uh, printing machine operator at $37,500. New technologies continue to replace many of the people who used to work in this field. Number five, a general office clerk. And I don't mean that in a military sense. Like, I'm general office clerk. <laughs> this is major stress. Uh, <laughs> general office clerk uh, earning about $35,360. While there are still roles for specialized office workers, the general clerk is usually the first person let go when companies cut back. Most of their tasks are just foisted onto other remaining co-workers to absorb. And we're seeing that a lot too, right? A lot of uh, positions that were high paying have been cut and now the work is just being spread out among all the lower paying. Mm. It's a great way to, it's a great cost saving measure, but as, as an employee or, you know, part of that team, you're, you've now got more work and at the same money and little chance of getting the raises like Jeff gets. <laughs> Number four, plastics processing machine operator at $33,000. The decline in demand for plastics has meant that employment in this industry has been on a 10-year decrease. That makes sense with mm. plastics. Mm. Number three, a weaver or knitter at $29,000. Labor overseas is cheaper and customers want low prices for textiles. The garment industry has been in steady decline in Canada for decades. There are very few opportunities left for people in this field. Here's a, here's a career that I used to be involved in, and I think I made more than this uh, because at the time it was relatively in demand, mm -hmm. not so much today. And that is a photographic and film processor. Today would earn about $23,000. Nobody develops film anymore. Technology strikes again. Digital cameras have, in a relatively short time, completely obliterated what was once a thriving industry. And like I mentioned, I worked in it when it was thriving. Yeah. You know, it was a big deal then yeah. and not so much now. The number one worst job in Canada pay-wise is a harvesting laborer at around $22,360 a year. 
Harvesting is physically demanding hard work for very little pay. In fact, this is such an undesirable job to have that many Canadians won't do it. Farmers routinely bring in foreign workers for the harvest season. And that's true. You often see that. I mean, that's the case in Canada. It's the case in the States, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So next week on the second episode of The Meltdown, we are going to be taking a look at genealogy. Now, that's going to be interesting, oh, yes, all right? Definitely. I mean, finding out your roots, mm -hmm. where you came from. Yeah. What we're going to look at is we're going to look at some great genealogy facts. Plus, we're going to look at some horror stories. Because <laughs> uh, when you dig really deep, to get to your past, right? Mm. You may not like what you find. Mm. So join us next week. Uh, and until then, uh, my name's Norm. And my name is Jeff. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.